The following game is rated M for Mature. War. War never changes. Howdy all, and welcome back to Slives. I think it's time we play a little... Fallout 76. <laughs> oh, man. I am, I tell you, I am having the worst time getting this fitted into my schedule. Uh, but I thought today we would come out here to the hospital here, uh, which I have... I have been through before. Uh, not with this character, though. And uh, take a look. Uh, this is the first place I had managed to get power armor from. Uh, so... I thought it could be fun to try and get, uh... Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Alright, you little bug. Wow. Will you stop dodging? <laughs> I couldn't hit that thing! This is terrible. I mean, it has been a week since I played. I don't know why I'm having such problems getting this into my into my schedule. It just seems like things are crazy. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe to get a set of uh, exoskeleton out of here. Um, I'm not high enough to wear power armor. Uh, is the issue, but uh, you can strip the armor part off, and the exoskeleton works just as well. Uh, I mean, it doesn't protect you per se, but it does. Um, it does allow you to uh, jump without taking damage, which uh, may not sound like a great thing, but. Uh, in the, I mean, like, like this here, right? Uh, you could just leap all the way down, not even take any damage with, with, uh, the exoskeleton part of the armor on. Ooh, I want a level. Oh, man. We shoot the guy in front of us, please. Thank you. I don't know what you're trying to do there. I don't know what that guy was doing either. Just kind of suddenly turned and started sliding backwards toward me. Oh. What am I hung on? There's not even anything there. My guy just stop moving. Oh, oh, ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Um, that was painful. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, get out of here, mosquito. Okay, I'm trying to be careful with what I'm carrying because I know I don't have a lot of uh, weight room. But uh, let's get let's get back. To, I know we could crawl up to the inside, but I thought we would start at the top and work our way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm suffering from bone worms. It's telling me. Uh, do I have any? Oh, I do. Disease cure. All right, there we go. Get rid of the bone worms, whatever that means. 
Hey guys, I'm back. I didn't mean to fling myself off the roof like that. Oh, where'd everybody go? Hello? Did you all leave me? That makes me a little sad. I mean, you didn't come to fight me, and now you're not here to play? It's disappointing. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh... I like watching um, review videos of this game sometimes, and uh, I I watched one today made me laugh. Uh, the uh, I don't know who made it. I didn't pay attention to who it was, uh, but uh, I could definitely tell the dude has had no experience with. Um, we got here. Let's try and switch to something a little more violent for close range. Uh, the dude has never played any kind of online anything, I guess. <laughs> because uh, his, whole, his whole video is just a huge rant about how you could buy stuff from the game uh, and that people were um, getting stuff in the game and then selling it uh, <laughs> and that you could buy caps uh, and stuff like that uh, weapons and stuff, and how that's that's the sign that this game is the worst thing ever. Uh, <laughs> I just laughed because I've played plenty of MMOs, and uh, I don't know if you ever seen what goes on in an MMO, but uh, it's kind of where gold farming was born, and uh, you know. It, uh... Oh, dude, there's two safes in here. It, uh... It's not a shock to me that people are acquiring random rare drops and then selling them online. I mean, I wouldn't do it, because uh, I don't have time and... willingness to do such a thing but I don't think that's like the be all end all I'm done with this game I've uninstalled it I'm never playing it again when I found out that someone was selling weapons online uh, and uh, and that I watched uh, some low-level person who had also, that makes me wonder if they've actually played the game, because they're like, some low-level person was fighting things that were like 10 levels above them and killing them with three or four hits. Y yeah, that's how this game plays. I, What version of this game were you playing, buddy? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I enjoy it. I get it kick out of it. Uh, some of them I agree with, some of them I think they're crazy. Uh, but that's alright. I can think someone's opinion is crazy. Uh, some of them are just super bizarre. Uh, I, uh, I remember reading, or uh, watching one where um, the person's like, alright, this is going to be my honest review. And then just evolved into, uh, how dare you, how dare you question the people who made this game. Which is the same crap you got when you talked about 
and it is crap. That opinion is crap. You are allowed to question anything. <laughs> uh, you don't have to be rude about it, but you are allowed to question anything. And, uh, you know, I, I do have to question some of the choices made in this game with whoever designed it, uh, from the artwork all the way to whoever was in charge of, uh, thinking it was a good idea. <laughs> um, and, uh, I, uh, I hate, I, I don't understand why that's a thing. Like, ugh, there's a syringer. I mean, it's a decent enough weapon, I guess, what little bit I've used it. Ooh, we'll take this, though. I don't know if I'm really going to pay attention to it, but I'll take it. Um, the, uh... First time I ever came across such a thing was Mass Effect 3. And, um... If you never played Mass Effect games, they are... For the most part, pretty cool. Uh, and uh, and so everything. Oh, this is where you make ammo. I was thinking this is the one where you make. Uh, that's the chemistry bench. They're pretty cool. Um, and uh, right down there is where I got my first suit of armor, but I don't see one down there now. Right there. That's where I picked up my first set of power armor. That's a shame. I was hoping to get a set while we were in here. It's all right, though. Maybe we'll find one someplace. Well, I'm sure we'll find one someplace else. Uh, I'm a little nervous because the last time I was in here to do this uh, with my other character, this lower level just had hundreds of guys just spilling out everywhere. Although that was like almost as soon as the game came out, so maybe it's different now, but um, uh, I probably had like a half hour fight in here against all everything running out and down. I don't even see anything today, though. But, uh, yeah, anyways, Mass Effect. Uh, so Mass Effect was uh, pretty cool in uh, the style of game it was, but um, uh, the thing that made it cool was as you as you uh, played the game, your choices had like big impacts on what happened in the game. Uh, require skill zero. Okay. We'll see if I can do this. I'm not great at these. Let's go with entry. Uh, so likeness zero, so nothing fits. All right, foods. Two. Okay, now, from what I understand, this means that two of these letters are in the correct spots. So nothing fits in this. Ghost. F-O-O-D-S. No. Herd. F-O-O-D-S. No. Goals. F O O D S. Yep. Now only one fits. Okay. Uh, F O O D. Nope. F O. Nope. <laughs> nope. F O O D S. Seeds. Oh, there we go. Uh, open door. Sometimes that doesn't work though, and I I feel like sometimes it forgets. And it's like, oh, what was I, uh, what was I doing? Yeah, that's, uh, this right here was where I got my first power armor. So I don't know if somebody recently came through and claimed it, or what. Uh, that's alright, though. Ooh, I'm gonna take this lead pipe. Uh, not because I want it as a weapon, but because I want to scrap it for the lead. I will definitely take the shotgun shells. Um, and so, uh, you know, Mass Effect 1 was great, Mass Effect 2 was great, and so then they were going to finish off, oh, hi, they are going to finish off the, the trilogy 
with Mass Effect 3. And Mass Effect 3, and I've, I've probably talked about this a dozen times, but it is one of the gaming moments of what not to do as a company <laughs> for me as a player. Uh, one of the biggest moments in the history of my gaming over decades of gaming. And so they're like 40 different endings. I don't remember what the exact number was, but it was supposed to be like 40 different endings. You can play through all three games and your choices from all three games will be taken into account to determine what the end of your your game is going to be like. And I mean, some of the earlier ones were like, make a wrong choice, lose a main character kind of thing. You know, uh, make a choice, kill off an entire race kind of thing. And so, I mean, this was... This was the end. This was the the final fight. This was take everything you got and throw it at the bad guys kind of story, you know? And um and so this was going to be exciting. I mean, the choices you made through all three games are going to combine together to uh determine from dozens of possible endings and uh and so that was exciting. Uh, that was exciting. And so then we get the game, right? And uh, uh, one of the other things that they had was it's a single-player game. <laughs> and they decided to throw in multiplayer. But multiplayer will have no effect on your single-player game. Um, and, uh, and that turned out to be a lie. Uh, and... Multiplayer had a direct effect on the single-player game. And, uh... Hey. Nobody said you could run up and punch me. Alright. Hey! Stop punching me, man. I heard that one. Ooh, nice. He had Wonder Glue. And so, you know, you get playing the game, you get... And not only that, but it's an RPG, right? So playing through all three games to get your choices is not something that... Uh, is not something that um, is a minuscule undertaking. Uh, I mean, we're talking... 40 plus hours per game so by the time you get to start Mass Effect 3 you've already got 80 100 120 hours into it and uh, all right I think I already did that section all right well I guess I'm just gonna leave um, I didn't get what I wanted from here so I'll just head back out uh, I kind of want to head over to here, so I think I'm going to do that. I'd like to, um, I might go over here and tag this, uh, mountain cave, or whatever this is. Oh, look, that just popped up on my screen, too. Um, we'll see what these are, but I do want to get back over to, uh, remember when we started the game, there was, like, um, level 10 super mutants garden, the lookout tower next to the, f next to the, uh, vault. So I would like to get over there and, um, tag in at the the vault or not the vault the uh um the lookout tower and get uh my updates from that uh oh yeah look there's a uh lighthouse <laughs> i don't know why there's a lighthouse in the middle of nowhere but uh there's a lighthouse and, uh, you know, so I do. I go. I put in my time. I, I play through game one. I play through game two. And what they do is they load off of each other. So you finish game one, and when you start game two, it's like you can start a new game, or you can continue your game using your previous save. So you do. So it takes all your choices that happened in the first game. Did you kill off the race? Did you get peace with the the race? Did you uh, kill off a main character? Did you save a main character? Did you even get a main character? Because, you know, it's one of those games where you may or may not m maybe pick up a uh, character and get him on your team. 
which character are you in love with? You know, that kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, oh, dude, there's like lasers and scorched and what is going on down here at the donut shop? Are they fighting a person? Are they fighting Slocum Joes? Are they fighting those little, uh, they are, they're fighting those little, I totally missed. That one should've got him. Okay, who just shot me in the face? You did. It's alright, you go ahead and get out your rifle. I'll just kill you with my long-range sniping pistol here. What is that? It's alright, buddy. Nice. Uh, and, you know, and so I, I put in all my time. I get through the first game, I load up those choices. I get through the second game, I load up those choices. I get to the third game, I start playing. Uh, and those choices sort of matter, but not really. And, uh, and as you're playing, uh, you find out that, um... The game is designed in a way where uh, it's supposed to be, spoilers, a last stand against an invading alien force um, that's going to wipe out the galaxy, basically. And so you have to go out and collect all of the different groups that you've come across together into a single armada to fight back. Basic general storyline. I mean, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, but uh, um, that is the basic. So it finally happened. Blah blah blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, good for you, Justin. Tinker's workbench. Ooh, definitely want screws. I did read that they patched uh, so that it takes fewer, fewer goods to repair items, so that will be helpful. Um, ooh, there's another lead pipe. I want to take that. Oh, am I hungry? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's see. What do we got for eating? We got uh, mutt chops. Let's try and save those things that are in boxes for later. All right, I should probably do something about uh, all this radiation too. Let's take a little rad away here, lower that radiation down. Uh, and you know, and so you get to the end of the, or you get into the game and you're building your armada. You can't even get in this building, man. That's sad. Uh, where was that cave? The cave is over here. And so, um... To acquire... To acquire uh, the Armada, you get some of it in the single-player game. And now they stated repeatedly that it was not going to... Oh, it's a mine. Hey, buddy. Golly mine. Uh, look, I'm I'm not gonna hang out here, okay? I just wanted to tag it on my map so that I could um, have it. But I'm gonna continue on my way to the lookout tower. And so. Um, As you're going along, you find out that a good chunk of the amount... Now, you could play the game without ever doing multiplayer, but you, you, the level of readiness of your armada directly affected the choices you had on how you wanted to end the game. And so over the course of the game, the things you do in the game 
does affect the end of the game. The problem is, is that they promise like 40 different endings or 65 different endings or something like that. What they gave was one ending with three different skins. Uh, and uh, technically four. Oh, that's the lighthouse. I don't want to go to the lighthouse. And why is the lighthouse doing that? Look at it. What's going on with my lighthouse? Why is the lighthouse fading in and out of existence? Oh. Now I decide to stay. Um, and so, uh... I should probably tag that lighthouse into my map, though, so I can fast travel to it later if I have a quest that involves it. Because uh, there are quests, I believe, that involve it. So we just get close enough to tag it. We'll be good. Oh, that's close enough to tag it. <laughs> and so... Um, so it turns out that the level of readiness of your Armada matters. But the only way to get high levels of readiness is to play a lot of multiplayer. A lot. Hours of multiplayer. Uh... Which is not does ha does not affect your single player game, is directly affects your single player game, and um, and so it's 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 just one of those games where the ending uh, the ending will vary. Um, I mean that's the whole point, right? The ending varies, but uh, you know there's there's the good ending, the bad ending, you know that kind of thing. This one doesn't really necess well no, it did have a bad ending, but later. And um so uh so yeah, anyways, you get to the end of the thing and there's one ending. There's one ending. It it literally is a single ending to the game. Uh I guess you could fail, which means you don't complete the game, but if you complete the game, there's only one ending. And um, the only differences are between all the choices you make through three games, uh, there is basically, uh, to win the game, to win the game, you either, uh, you either fuse organic and synthetic matter together, um, you destroy all synthetic matter, uh, synthetic life, I guess I should say. Yeah, I was wondering where you guys were at. Don't be hitting me. I didn't say you could hit me. Where's that shotgun? That's not a shotgun. Where's my shotgun? Why is that Molotov cocktail got a plus on it? Oh, shoot. I don't think I made it in time. Oh, man. Uh, let's go to the cabins. That seems pretty close. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just pick where I'm at? Yeah, let's just pick where I'm at. You spot me here. And, uh, and what was the other one? Oh, to take over synthetic life. Those were your three choices. Um, and so... Uh, the difference was... One had red explosions, one had blue explosions, and one had green explosions. Uh, and um, pretty much all of the videos were the same. And you can see it. You can go... Uh, there are comparison videos on YouTube where they just play all three movies at the same time and uh and they just they edit the movies so that um so that uh if they're the same they're playing and if they're different they stop the other movies to show the different part uh and it plays out they're they're the same ending it's the same ending there's only one ending 
Uh, and that's not 40 plus endings or whatever they promised uh, based on all your choices. And so people were mad. <laughs> people were understandably mad. Uh, I don't think... I don't... I don't understand why... Shh. It's a little cheat right there that I... <laughs> There's a safe uh, up there, and when you go up there, there'll be a note that tells you that the key is down here. So I'm just going to grab it before I go up because I already knew it was there. Because uh, this isn't my first go-round in this area. And, um... It's so people, you know, people were pretty furious and there was a lot of posting about it. But this is the first time I'd ever heard, and I play a lot of MMOs, where every time they make a change... A large contingent of people are angry and will post about how angry they are. And uh, I think right here's the the note. Yep, right on top of the right on top of the uh, thing. The uh, I can't think of what that's called. The okay, we'll get our survey in. Uh, and so. It was weird to me to see another video now about a different company uh, saying the same thing. How dare you question the people who made the game? How dare you say you don't like what they put out? And, uh... <laughs> and, you know... I no, like if I don't like something, I should be able to say I don't like it. And, uh, you know, I did not like the end of Mass Effect 3. I hated it. Uh, I hated it a lot because it was, it was the worst possible ending. It wasn't the worst possible ending, but it was a terrible ending. All right, let's see what we get. We got uh, the junkyard... We got uh, auto repair. Uh, looks like we got Black Mountain Ordnance. That seems awful far away to show up on my map. Not a lot I haven't already been to, apparently, in this area. Uh, Alpine River Cabins. Might have been picked up from this other one down here, though. So, I'm not sure why this is on my map. I feel like I didn't really get anything other than maybe this one here, the auto repair and the junkyard. I've never been to those. Um, but, uh, you know, and so they, the company itself posted, how dare you question the integrity of our artist and, and tell them what they should put into their... No, 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 no. If I don't like it, I get to say I don't like it. Uh, I get to say... I bought your product, you told me one thing, it turned out to be a lie, I hate your story. Um, and I think you should change it, because it's a video game and you promised something different. And um, they don't make video games anymore that come out without being patched, as far as I can tell. So if you can patch it, patch it, and uh, make it better. Uh, and people weren't even angry about the game itself, it was just the ending. So go back and fix your ending, maybe. Uh, I mean, I can see, like, oh, well, we made this amazing ending and we wanted people to like it, but it's not the ending you promised. Um, it, I mean, it definitely was not 40 or whatever. E even 12 different endings would have been better than the one ending you got. I To even pretend that it was multiple endings was ridiculous. Uh, and so, now I'm not, I'm not done with the, that part of the story because they did patch to change the ending about six months later. And uh, and so they were finally like, all right, you wanted the, you wanted the endings you wanted. And the, the thing is, is I wanted the ending where I won. I wanted to win. And there wasn't a win ending in that game. 
Uh, at no point was there wind ending. Like, like uh, there's battle chatter uh, when you're on the load screens of... Uh, while you're playing the game of the Armada fighting back against the alien invasion. And uh, and so you hear the chatter about how entire solar systems are being wiped out and stuff like that. And um, this is not what I would expect an auto repair to look like. Uh, and uh, you keep saying there's a scorched, but I don't see one must be outside some look it says there's a level one boss scorch a level one boss scorch where are you level one boss scorch I think I could take you where are you I don't see why I kept showing me that and uh and so like six months later you get the you get the update and uh you know you download the update for me i had to reinstall the game luckily i still have my saves i guess the garage must be right there um and uh and i get on there and so i've got my oh there you are so you're not you're not a boss There he is. What's a level one boss have on him? Look at there's that. Oh, I probably want that right away. There's that uh, <laughs> modded Molotov cocktail again. I think that can be right. Where'd the other scorch guy go? And, uh, so, you know, you get on there, and so, like I said, that was weird, I just went sideways for some reason. Um, and so your choices are, uh, not fight back, but join with the bad guy. Not fight back, but kill, kill not just the bad guy, but the, uh, the synthetic life form that you spent a huge portion of your game saving. Um, uh, and then, uh, not really fight back, but fuse yourself with synthetic life so that neither synthetic nor organic life exists anymore. Uh, those were, those were your original three choices. And, um, uh, and so we get in there and the choice I wanted was to fight. And there wasn't that choice. They did not have let's fight. Uh, because you're listening to the to the chatter and as you get your as you get your armada readiness levels higher and higher as you play the game, um, the chatter changes from we're being killed off, we're being forced out, to um, we're holding our own, to we have recovered solar systems, we've destroyed, you know, alien ships and stuff like that. And so you're winning <laughs> if you do enough work in the game to get to that point. And so I wanted to continue the fight. Uh, and so uh, the patch included the continue the fight option. And, uh, and so I'm like, yeah, all right, let's do this. Let's continue the fight. And so then the option resulted in a big, huge battle where everything just got unloaded against the alien forces and ships were being destroyed. And no, who are we kidding? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the final battle didn't even get shown. Instead, you got a message um, all life in the, in the galaxy has been wiped out. We tried and we failed. Uh, hopefully you can take what we knew and, uh, do better next time. That's, that's the ending they gave if you decided to fight back. Uh, I'm sorry. Your chatter specifically said that we were winning. Uh, the bad guys were afraid of us. 
Uh, we were taking out their ships. What do you mean I don't get an ending where I get to... Who makes a game... <laughs> who makes a game where not only did you destroy two of their ships without an armada, but now I have an armada of every... every sentient life... Like, I made peace. I made peace between groups that were on genocidal paths against each other so that we would all be there to fight back. And I don't get to have an ending where I get to fight back. What What do you mean? Like, I have to choose to kill off the AIs that I saved? I have to choose to merge people who are afraid of being merged with synthetics? Or I have to give up, basically? I mean... I mean, I believe one of your choices was to let the reaping happen. Um, it's been a while, so I don't remember that exactly. But anyways, anyways, uh, so yeah. Um, so it just it's funny to me to hear someone be, oh, if you you don't get to question their artistic vision for this game, you have to take it as it is. And uh, and how dare you? Uh, in fact, even if this game. Uh, the the guy in the one video says, even if this game is a terrible game, uh, you should still be willing to just give the company your money, uh, so that uh, in in thankfulness for all the other great games that they have made, you already gave them the money for the other games that they made. Uh, I'm allowed to complain about this game. Uh, obviously, I'm still playing it a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy. All right, that's enough chatting for now. Click like, if you like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.